my name is Daryl Monroe. And I'm Scott Richards. And we're here today to talk about what is business acumen and more importantly, the missing link. So uh, Scott, I'll hand over to you. Yeah, thanks Daryl. So um, as Daryl said, we're talking about what is business acumen and why we think it is the missing link in, in businesses. Um, first I'd like to start off with a story about uh, watching a TED talk by a lady called Susan Colantuno. Yes. And she does a really good uh, TED, TED talk if you ever get the chance to, to watch it. And she talks about the glass ceiling uh, with, with, with women in, uh, in business, in, in major organisations. And so what she says is that at middle level management, uh, women are, make up 50% of managers. However, when you go to the, the top level management, that percentage drops down to, to 20%. It's quite a lot. Yeah, and so she talks about what uh, people aren't told to be able to get to that to that next level. And so what she did is she went and interviewed some CEOs and said, well, what, what do you need to get to that next level from middle level to, to top level? And, and they quoted the, you know, the normal things about leadership and, and that, that sort of stuff. And she said, well, what about business acumen? And all of them said to him, well, that's just a given. <laughs> right. And so she was uh, doing a, a conference, and there was about 150 women in the room. And she said, she replayed the story back to them and said, how many of you know that business acumen is, is just a given? And she said, only one person put their hand up. In a room of 150. And in a room of 150. And she said then that replay repeated itself as she, as she went round. And so we, we believe that, and we have found, that this is not just uh, isolated to, to one part of the community, but a lot of managers don't realise that they need business acumen if they make to the next level. And also the same in business. You know, people start their business based on technical. Yep. Uh, and they're missing business acumen. Yeah, well that's certainly been our case when we've worked with organisations. We go into an organisation and work alongside them to help them develop and improve their business, get better results. What we've discovered that quite often the challenge has been working with managers or senior leaders that have not yet established a really good understanding of what business acumen is. So it's impacting on their decision making, it's impacting on the way they do their budgets, yeah. it's impacting on their overall financial performance and contribution back to the bottom line. Exactly. So, so I guess this is why we get passionate about the concept of the business acumen. Yeah, e excellent Daryl. And there's, there's a really good principle based on that called the, the Peter Principle. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in, in another video if, if you like. Yeah. Okay. I, I love the Peter Principle. So anyway, let's get back to what is business acumen. And so we're going to talk about our definition of business acumen. And so what we call business acumen is knowing how your business makes money and how to drive execution within the context of the company strategy to deliver extraordinary results. Yep. So we have a formula, um, which, which I, I like. So it's financial literacy or financial intelligence times strategic execution intelligence all within your emotional intelligence. And that's to deliver extraordinary results. Well, that's quite a formula. It's quite a formula. I'll just uh, go through very quickly. So financial intelligence is, is financial literacy. So understanding how your business makes money. Yes. And, and there's some good research around that, uh, how it's lacking in, in quite a bit of few, quite, quite a few businesses. Um, then times by your strategic execution. So there's research to show that up to 95%, depending on which research you look at, uh, employees don't know or don't understand the strategy of a business. Yeah, it's quite devastating. Isn't so it? you could be executing well, but are you executing within the, within the context of the strategy? Exactly. And so that's that's the the main part of the of the formula. But what we believe is, you can have all this, but you could still be missing emotional intelligence. So EQ. So what what do we mean by EQ, Daryl? Well, there was a study done um, of the Fortune 500s a few years ago. Um, so they're interested in defining what was it that made some of these leaders exceptional leaders. And, um, and so they went with the premise that they must have had good educations, great IQ, 
intellectual um, ability. Yeah. Um, but what they discovered was it was wasn't those things that made the differentiation. It was actually the concept of emotional intelligence. That is that ability to self-regulate, to make judgments, to think about um, the people they involved, how they work with them, how do they actually um, discover at like take a knock back, recover, like high resilience and things like that. Those are all some of the elements. I mean, it's a study in itself, of course. But when we couple that with this formula, what you're then doing is you're actually overlaying or providing another lens, if you like, that you look at your business through. Yeah. And that's the defining thing that brings out the uh, extraordinary results. Exactly. That, that's great summary, Daryl. So just to, so just to, uh, to sum up, our, our, what we, when we're talking about business hacking, what we're really talking about is your your financial intelligence on how, knowing how your business makes money with your strategic execution, so ex executing within the strategy of the, of the business or within your worldview, of your, your, your emotional intelligence delivers extraordinary results. And in our next uh, video, when we're talking about why business acumen, we'll, we'll present some research which, which really reinforces extraordinary results because of business acumen. Okay, just before we move on though, but so we're talking about financial um, intelligence. Is this like I've got to go away and get a degree to become an accountant? Uh, no, no. Uh, the exact opposite, because there's research to show that being an accountant does not mean you have business acumen, and it, it, it's actually the opposite effect where people are too confident thinking they have business acumen because they understand. It's really knowing how your business makes money. Right. What are the activities that drive? So that's significantly different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very yeah. different. Yeah. So the last thing we do is teach people how to become an accountant. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> numbers man, not numbers <laughs> man. Um, I suppose in terms of the strategic execution, we'll, we'll expand on that a bit more too. But um, th the main thing is, if you think about the combination of all of that, is what's the missing link. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a combination of everything. If you're missing one part, then you're not going to it's you know your chain is only as strong as your weakest link your weakest yeah. link yeah so well that's really good well thanks very much scott you know thank you daryl right we'll catch you on our next series